I am making rainbow hamantash and it's one of my most popular recipes on my website. And I just wanted to show you the dough. This is purple because I had to make purple. It's a little bit dark, but we have blue. My green turquoise because I didn't have regular green and it's okay, we're working with it. Yellow, orange, and red. And it's so fun. What I do is I layer them in a loaf pan like this and then I freeze it. So when you slice it, you get these perfect layers. I'll show you what it looks like. I started with the red on the bottom. I went red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Purple is on the top and I'm going to wrap this and put it in the freezer for just an hour so that it sets up and it's all like closed together. Have you ever made like something rainbow and when you start baking it, everything pulls apart? Yeah, you don't want that. So you, this actually makes it so when you slice into the dough and you shape them, the layers do not fall apart. <laughs> All right, the dough is out of the freezer, so let's flip this. It's so pretty. What I've done before, by the way, is I double this dough and you get two layers of it, but I wanted to see what would happen if I did just a half a recipe, because it makes a lot. So let's just unwrap her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Like, what? It's so, it's so pretty. So what we're gonna do now is just make really thin slices. Around a quarter inch thick is what you want. What I'm curious about is will they be large enough to make the circle? The answer is no. Now, by the way, you could just bake them like in squares. You can make cute little shapes out of them. So what I need to figure out is do I just take these two, oh, like this, and then put it on top of the other one. Oh, I could do that. Press it down a little bit. I don't know, we're just playing here. Because see, when you press them together like this, you have the perfect dough for a three inch round cutter, and then you can make your hamantash in. Okay, now I'm just having fun with it. <laughs> it's so much fun. For the cookbook, I'm gonna do the full recipe because then it makes the two layers and it makes the perfect circle. I just really want in the book for all of my cookies to be around two dozen and this is gonna make four dozen, so I gotta figure that out. And if you're wondering what I do with the scraps because I'm cutting out circles, I press them all back together and how beautiful are these? It's like artwork and you can even make tie-dye ones. Is it worth all of that effort? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth the effort. It's worth the effort. So pretty. And how do they taste? Oh, these just came out of the oven. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I did raspberry filling. 